Hey guys and girls, Jimmy Houston here with another Sunday afternoon chat. You know, this is, uh, I am driving between Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Chicago, Illinois right now. I am a little bit closer, well, about halfway between the two cities, as a matter of fact. We actually have a uh, Bass Pro Shop over here that's between Milwaukee and Chicago. But I have been in uh, Michigan all the way up, as far as you can go up in Michigan, uh, all the way up to Lake Superior, Marquette, Michigan. And I've been up there for Shell Rotella, my great sponsor, Shell Rotella. He makes the best diesel oil ever made. And uh, if you got a diesel engine, if you're not running Shell Rotella, you're taking some big chances, I promise you that. But uh, driving down the road here, just kind of taking it easy. I fished today, I actually fished with my buddy uh, Cody Cass and his girlfriend Laramie. And uh, we shot some video on it. I caught a smallmouth bass today that was huge. I mean, huge, 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 huge. You can't believe how big this fish is. It is a monster. And I caught some other really nice ones, like four pounders, which is still a really big smallmouth. But uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, that's what we're coming up to. Next three exits right here. So if you're driving down uh, Highway uh, 41 and 94 around Kenosha, wave. I've had a lot of people waving at me. Got my big expressway ram truck, pulling my ranger boat behind me and the truck's got stickers all over it. The boat is ranger boats wrapped for Shell Rotella, so pretty conspicuous out here driving around. But uh, anyway, been waving to a lot of people, smiling at people taking pictures as they drive by and I appreciate that so much, you know. It's so nice to know that we have friends in so many places, I uh, promise you. I stopped to make a telephone call to talk to my buddy Jeff Shaw the other day where I wouldn't lose connection and I had two different people stop and. And, and, and try to help me. They thought maybe I was broke down. They passed and they turned around, came back and uh, and uh, and tried to thought maybe I was broken down and, uh, and said I was just simply talking on the telephone. But uh, but anyway, we had a great day today. We fished. I got away from down there about 3:30, uh, and I've got uh, how far am I from Sherry's house? 758 miles from Sherry's house. So I'll be driving pretty late tonight and uh, probably pull over in a truck stop or somewhere and lay my head back for a couple hours. I'll just go as long as I can. I've got some turbo power with me. I just drank a turbo power a minute ago. Got up at um, at um, five o'clock this morning to go fishing. And uh, and so uh, six o'clock Eastern time, five o'clock Central time, five o'clock on the time I'm on right now, as a matter of fact. But, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, got me some turbo power, took a turbo power shot. So I'm feeling really good uh, and jazzed up, ready to go. And uh, I get drowsy along about midnight or one or two or three o'clock i'll probably find me a truck stop pull in there and lay back my head for a couple hours and get a couple hours sleep and go on uh, i want to get back down to the ranch we've got a great week at the ranch this week got my friends coming in larry sissel's down there right now actually i caught him on my cameras i've got cameras all over i caught him on my cameras out in front of my house and sherry told me uh that she said she said i'll go ahead and tell you she said sherry's finishing mom's uh, uh closet uh, area where we take out the old shower where we built her a brand new shower took out the old shower and uh and got where the old shower was and and uh and make a a closet out of it with some shelves and a hanging rack where we can hang some of her clothes in there so when she takes her shower in there she'll have some nice clean clothes handy and uh, uh so that that's that's what larry's down there doing while i'm gone but it's good to have larry there while i'm gone because uh uh, and I'm not getting in his way. That's one thing. I usually try to help him, and I, I I do help him a lot. I promise you. But it probably gets in his way about as much as helping him, really, to be honest with you. But Apache found a bunch more trees on the ranch. It's torn up. Probably ten or twelve of them. He sent me a, a, a pictures of. I couldn't believe it. It looks like they're pulled out of the ground. Great big giant trees. Look like pecan trees. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, but they they look like they were pulled up out of the ground like a. Uh, Oh, somebody waving right there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. That is so cool, really. It is. We got friends all over the country, all over the world, I guess. It's just like God's been so good to us, so good to us. But, uh, but I want to get back over here to Sherry's and, uh, and, and pick, up, uh, pick up Chris. She's been with Sherry all week and get her back to the ranch. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got uh, oh, there's a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I need to pull in there and get some chicken. I'm busy doing this right now, so I'll, I'll catch the next one wherever it might be but uh uh i want to get that uh there's a shell station there too and i just filled up back there a little while ago i should have waited until i got to right here could have got chicken and shell but uh i picked sherry chris up and get her back down at the ranch uh, our friends from louisiana are coming in this week we got crawfish a thousand pounds of crawfish coming we've got uh, about six sacks i think 
uh, that we bought that, that, that uh, are, are been purged and, and washed and on ice for uh, for a big crawfish ball that we'll have this coming weekend on Saturday night. We have a lot of our friends from around there, uh, my friends from around around the ranch area and uh, down there in southern Oklahoma. Uh, somebody said, you mean you have neighbors? You have neighbors on that bigger ranch? But yes, we do have neighbors and our, their ranches are a lot bigger than ours and we're still their neighbors. So that that's really, really good. But we'll have a big crawfish ball down there and my buddies are coming down. I think some of them are gonna come down Wednesday. So I wanna get down there, a couple of them. Uh, I think Tim and uh, and Ross are coming down Wednesday, and then the rest of them coming down uh, Friday or Thursday or something. I don't know, but uh, but anyway, we got a big crawfish ball planned for next weekend, so it's just going to be a wonderful week. I do have uh, one uh, appearance Friday. Uh, I had given given away a trip. You know, we get about 500 requests a year to give away fishing trips, and we're very 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 selective on who we give them to, and very seldom do we give away a fishing trip. That's um, that's not got something involved with kids, you know, like Make-A-Wish or St. Jude's or something like that. Kids We Care, Brass Ring Society, all those great organizations that do work with uh, with kids that get sick. And uh, But we gave one to the uh, Safari Club of Oklahoma City and they, uh, they actually auctioned that off. So it really wasn't a, a drawing. It was a, it was a soul trip that raised, helped raise money for the Safari Club of Oklahoma City. And uh, I've been to a lot of Safari Club meetings over the years and it's an organization I like to support. Uh, we're, we're very, very selective and, you know, might give away, I mean, it might be five or six more years before we ever give away another one to them because we just get so many of them. You figure up, you get 500 requests a year and everybody says, oh, it's only one day, Jimmy, it's only one day. Well, that's true, but if you get that many requests, you know, and you do, you request all of them, you got 135 days that are not in the year. You do it one for every day and, and of course, you couldn't make a living that way because I have to get out there and work. But we give away a lot of trips throughout the course of a year. and. And we do have some contests and stuff that we do. Uh, actually trying to get uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts to run some sort of contest with O'Reilly right now. And I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but where uh, I know a lot of you shop at O'Reilly Auto Parts and uh, that way you could have a chance to go in there and register to win a fishing trip uh, to fish with us. And I promise you we have fun when we do that. It's more than a fishing trip. It's what we call a catching trip. I guarantee that we will catch fish. There's not many people that'll take you fishing that will guarantee you catch fish, but I guarantee that you'll catch fish. So how's that right there? It's a money back guarantee. <laughs> Jimmy, you're talking about giving away a free trip and you're gonna give their money back? That's right, give it all back. That's right, that's right. But no, we'll catch them, I promise you. And so we're trying, we're trying to do some of that. More people waving, it's so cool, that's so cool. But uh, but anyway, it's uh, we're uh, just, Driving along here, having a great time. I uh, didn't realize how late it was getting in the evening because we're getting into summertime. We're having these really long days. When you get up north, you add about another hour. When you're this far north, you had about another hour of daylight than we have in the south. So uh, it's uh, you know it's it's really a lot of light out here. And I was sort of thinking it's the middle of the day, and then all of a sudden I said I better do this Sunday afternoon chat. But it's been a good week, a fun week. Uh, we a lot all the people that came by up there at Marquette. We just had bunches of people every day. I probably signed the, over a thousand hats there and a lot of people came by and visited. I appreciated it. Uh, my, my friend, my, my, my lady friend, and I, when I say lady friend, she's married, got kids and everything, but she brought me a, some, a goodie bag last year and she brought me even a bigger goodie bag this year and she brought it up to Marquette from Escanaba. She brought it up there and um, uh, she gave me a good a goodie bag last year to travel with to eat while I was in the truck because I but I don't stop much I, I'm gonna eat some chicken if I find another one but uh, she brought me a, a giant goodie bag full of stuff it had Coke Zeros in it and a, a piece of cake which I ate last night when I got back got to the room about 11 o'clock and, and uh, I did go out and fish a little bit on, on Lake Michigan yesterday evening and try to find some fish. I didn't find any out there yesterday evening, but I went to another place today and I found some fish. I, I fished a lot of the day and almost catching those little ones. But boy, I got into some big ones this afternoon and caught six or seven or eight really nice big ones. And uh, actually caught the biggest one, the same place where I've been catching the smaller ones. But but we had a we had a great day fishing, great day, Cody. And, uh, and uh, Laramie shot video for us out there, so you'll be able to see this on next year's Jimmy Houston Outdoors show. Uh, we're shooting for 2025 now. We probably will put a little bit of that up on, on YouTube, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, YouTube, and also on Jimmy Houston Outdoors Facebook, all capital letters. So if you're not on that, in those, be sure you subscribe to all three of our YouTube channels and uh, and make sure if you're, if you're a Facebook person, you're subscribed to that Jimmy Houston Outdoors Facebook, all capital letters. And uh, gas is pretty expensive up here. Wow, wow. 
too, too expensive for me. I need to get back down south where it's a little bit less expensive. I've been paying about three fifty nine or something up here. Probably on this trip, I might have averaged about three forty five a gallon. It's pretty high. Seems to me like some of y'all live in California. You're going to say, "Ah, oh, we'd, we'd buy it by the barrel if we get it at three forty five a gallon." But, uh, but anyway, I see. Make sure I'm on the right road. Yeah, ninety four toward Chicago and in Indiana. That's exactly what we will stay on. And uh, let me think here. 94 East. That's right. Stay on 94. Yep, 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 yep. Illinois Tollway Express, all lanes. I need to call Expressway and let them know that they're probably going to get some toll bills. They need to send me a bill for that. I'll have call uh, Sherry call Lisa and tell her that tomorrow when you get to toll road bills in for me we'll send send them to me and we'll send you a check <laughs> oh man i'm just having a ball driving out here by myself you know i, I tell you it's just uh, we're looking so forward to this week this coming week we have friends over great friends of ours from louisiana and larry sisson his wife betty will be there i'll be picking up chris uh, sometime tomorrow i will i don't know if i drove straight through i would get there at 5 20 in the morning 5.20 in the morning, but I want to not drive straight through because like I said, I got up at five o'clock. That'd be 24 straight hours up and I probably need a couple hours sleep, but I'm gonna get there sometime tomorrow and get my beautiful Chris and, and uh, we'll get, get back to the ranch sometime tomorrow. Might get there in time to help Larry finish that closet, closet up, I don't know. But uh, but anyway, we're looking forward to a great week out there. I uh, hope everybody's having a, a great time out there. A lot of thunderstorms and tornadoes still rumbling around. Everybody watch your weather and then you see those tornadoes come get in a hidey hole somewhere because they are dangerous. And I'll try to get down and uh, shoot some video of all those big trees that, that uh, tore up. But Patchy sent me some pictures. He said about 10 of them. It looks like they were pulled out of the ground like a carrot. And they got root Root, root wads on the bottom of them bigger than this truck and boat. I mean, that's how bigger than this truck. Root wads bigger than this truck. One of the pictures I saw, it's amazing. And uh, it's over around an area we call Miss Piggy. So you all have seen me uh, I shoot some video out of a deer stand over there at Miss Piggy, big Texas hunter deer stand. And I asked the Patsy, I said, did it tear up my deer stand? He said, no, it didn't tear your deer stand up. And uh, I haven't really been hunting in that deer stand in the last two or three years. I've just been going in there and shooting a little video and enjoying watching the watching the deer. I saw a huge giant buck out of it this last year. And I assume he made the year. I don't know if any, anybody, I've never heard of anybody killed him. None of our guys, uh, people in our, our ranch killed him, I know that. But uh, anyway, having a great time out here, enjoying enjoying everything, enjoying the ride back to Oklahoma. It's up here all the way up here, coming from Oklahoma, but it's downhill all the way. When I look down and I see that S on my, my, my uh, 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 dash there, that means south. And if you're going south, you're going in the right direction. That's all I can say. It doesn't matter who you are, where you live, if you're going south, you're going in the right direction, I promise you. Southern, Southern boys. Yeah, we know how to have fun. Yes, we do. We're rednecks, we're rednecks, that's what we are. But I uh, hope everybody has a great week out there. The, the fish are biting. The, the, the water up there in northern Michigan, I could not believe it. On Lake Michigan, we saw some 65, 66, 67 degree weather. Uh, water, water temperature, 67. It was like 72 or something today. 68 degrees right now between Milwaukee and Chicago. 68 degrees. Oh, three tenths of a mile. I need to go left. So I better get in uh, that lane. Oh, no, I think I can go in this lane right here. 320 feet, stay left. I believe I'll do it. Or pay online. I believe I'll pay online. <laughs> they're also going to send the bill to Ram Expressways where they're going to send the bill to, so I need to make sure I tell them that they need to send me a bill for my, my tolls while I'm driving up here in Illinois. Because I promise you, when we have people from Illinois driving to Oklahoma, they'll be paying Oklahoma some tolls. So I'll pay your tolls up here. I sure will. So anyway, hope everybody has a great week out there. It's beautiful weather. The fish are biting. The crappie are biting. Bass are biting. White bass are biting. The walleye season's open in Illinois. I think the smallmouth bass season opens uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend, which is this coming weekend. So those of you that like smallmouth bass, you can fish for them up there now. You just can't keep them, which I, would, I don't keep them anyway. And can I tell you, I turned back some monsters today. I sure did. Have your great week out there. And remember, guys and girls, I sure do love you. <laughs>